This weather is schizophrenic. Ah! <laughs> so I'm in Boston. You guys know the weather has been like the thing this week, the past two weeks. Like I check the weather and it says 100% chance of rain. And then you go out and the sun's out. And then the next day you're like, oh, the sun's gonna be out. Don't need to check the weather anymore. And now this, it's literally ridiculous. Ugh, so mad. I'm so mad. I'm gonna kill the rain. I'm gonna kill it. Not the clouds, the clouds are okay. It's not their fault. But the rain, I'm just, I'm gonna get a big fire and I'm gonna evaporate all of it. Just all, it's getting dead. <laughs> that is the craziest thing I've ever said. And the rain drove me to craziness. You brought it on yourself, water. I don't even mind the wet. But we're going here, the square deli. I guess it's good that it rained because I get to try new things and I love me some food. So we are going right there to the square deli, supposedly the best sandwiches around town. We want to check it out. What else is going on? Luckily, uh, the weather was pretty good for a couple of days, so I got some great shows in, had a blast in Boston, and then it was definitely going to rain for two days, so I went and visited my family, which was really nice. Got to see them. Uh, Father's Day just happened, so I got my dad a sport Do you guys know what that is? It's awesome. You know those big, massive... Uh, metal spatulas that you use for like a grill, and it's like, this is a man's tool. It's like half hardware, half culinary, like meat in the middle. I got him one of those, but instead of like the grilling in the middle, it had this amazing, they like, uh, lasered it out, the logo of uh, the Red Sox. And my dad loves baseball, and he loves the Red Sox. Which, why wouldn't you, if you love some other team, hop on board, guys! The Red Sox are it! That's what's up! Okay, oh no, oh god. I think the back of my phone is cracking. Shoot. That is not good. Insider secrets. BTS behind the scenes. Now you guys know that I use my phone to film. I hope no one steals this. Oh, you know it would be terrible if I actually had the front facing camera going? The whole... I don't. Oh, look at that. Look at that water falling down, getting everybody wet. Not even in the good way. Like a water park. That would be a great way to get wet. You go to the water park, Go on some slides, maybe catch a few STDs in the wave pool. Because, you know, they don't clean... Even if they did clean it, you get one wrong person in that pool and everybody's got syphilis. You know what I'm saying? I heard... Um, I was talking to some people doing some shows and uh, on Facebook, and this woman said that uh, their kid... Their kid, they're like, what was your favorite part of Boston? And their like, little kid was like, the street performer Alex. All the rest of it was too old school. Alex was the coolest part. So that was awesome. Thank you, that little kid. And it got me thinking. And then someone wrote, I've always thought Boston was like New York for old people. And I was like, yeah, Boston's like New York on NyQuil. That's awesome. Look at this guy. He's proven it. 100-year-old man. He can still walk. It's a miracle. Through the miracle of eating healthy, that man is still able to walk. Okay. Quiz quickie for today is, when you get old, what's the one thing that you still want to be able to do? One thing, what is it? Me, I'm going to go just on the fence here. I still want to be able to drive go-karts. I friggin' love go-karts. They're amazing. They're fun. And uh, have you ever been to, uh, what is the place? Not Speed Zone. K1 Speed. They're all over the place. I've been there hundreds of times. They know me. Like, they don't know me, but they go in and they're like, oh, this guy, he knows what he's doing. I know this guy. He comes in, he races. He doesn't join the leagues because he wants to enjoy the fun of go-karting. And he knows if he joins the leagues that, you know, he's going to start taking it competitively and then he's going to get take it seriously and it's not going to be fun anymore. But I know this guy. He comes in, thinks he's king shit, beats most of his friends, probably 90% of his friends he beats. He feels good about it, but he'll never... Then there's always one guy, the one guy that, like, kicks everybody's ass that night. That, you know, he's not friends with him. He's like, oh, that guy, if he wasn't here, I would be king shit. <laughs> uh, I'm that guy. Okay. Uh, it's Alex Clark. Leave your comment down below about the one thing you would do, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? 